Tonight, Georgia Republicans are not only celebrating Donald Trump's reelection, but what this race could signal for the future. Republicans say it shows what they hope is becoming a more racially diverse Republican Party. Doug Richards, a member of our 11 Alive political team, is live in Midtown with more on why here, Doug. Yes, so well, there is some evidence in exit polling that suggests that Donald Trump got more votes from black voters and Latino voters than he has gotten uh, in the previous times that he has run for president. How they want us to necessarily identify, that's out the window. Ricardo Williams was among the hundreds in a Buckhead ballroom Tuesday night enjoying Donald Trump's presidential election victory. Williams says he cast his first election vote for Democrat Barack Obama in 2012. I actually voted for Obama. Yeah, at the time. Same with Charles Gary, who was at Monday's J.D. Vance rally supporting the Trump ticket. I'm here to drive that through and, 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 and make sure that uh, it never goes back to any kind of monopoly when it comes to the Democratic Party and the black community. Though polls show minority voters still lean Democratic, Donald Trump got more of them to lean his way this year. Leo Smith, a Republican organizer who did not support Trump, says the Republican got more voters of color because he messaged them effectively. Hispanics and, and a lot of black men are starting to go, I don't think they are willing to go all the way with us, so let's just make a decision on economy only. Trump understood that, Democrats didn't. And Leo Smith says that the trick for Republicans going forward will be to uh, continue to engage voters of color once Donald Trump is off the ballot. We are live in Midtown tonight. Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.